Welcome back to another KDM 3D tutorial. In today's video, I'll be turning our static 3D model and rigging it to make it usable for Unity. Without further ado, let's dive right into the video. I'll be using the model from the previous video. I added my own fill color to it, which I think isn't too bad. Except for the eyes, but that's not really the focus for this video. Going back to the assets page, on the right, you'll be able to see all the previous versions or updates you made on that particular model. You'll also be able to see the download button. Once this window shows, you can tick all or whichever you want, but for me, all I need is the FBX file. After you've downloaded the model, go to Mixamo. Create an account if you don't have already, but I'll go ahead and log in. It'll bring us to this character page. In here, you can browse through different models if you want. Right now, we want to be able to upload our own 3D model. Over here on the right, click on Upload Character. It'll pop up this window, and here is where you'll drag your 3D generated model from Kadem. Click next and it'll bring up this page where you have to put markers in different parts of your character to give your model that particular bone point. You can untick use symmetry if you want to move each point on its own but I would prefer keeping it ticked. The same goes for the skeleton LOD. Click next and this should take a couple of minutes to rig your character. You should load up a demo animation to see if it's working as intended. Click next and now you're ready to use it on other animations. Here you can choose and play around with whatever animation you want, but before we go that, we'll search up T-Pose. This is what we'll add to the game to keep it as our base rigged model. Click download and set the frames per second to 60 and keep skin with skin. Now that's downloaded, drag and drop it into your Unity project. Drag the model into the game scene and you can see that it looks perfectly fine. You can even see every detail of the model if you open it up in the drop down menu. From here, we'll click on the base model and over here where it says rig, set it from generic to humanoid. This will allow us to use the bones we created in Mixamo. The character in our game scene already has an animator, but doesn't have an animator controller. So we'll go ahead and create one and drag it into the inspector. This animator window is where we'll be able to control the animations to see how our character moves. Going back to Mixamo, here is where you would go crazy and choose whatever animation you want. I'll just go with a simple running animation for now. You can see here that our character keeps teleporting back to its original spot. This can simply be fixed by ticking the in place box. Now the model will just run in the same spot. I also noticed that his arms are a bit too close, and you can adjust the range of width by playing around with the character arm space setting. I set it to 70 to have his arm lift up from his shirt. The overdrive slider is how fast the animation is played. I honestly don't even bother playing around with this and just keep it around to 50. Once you're happy with an animation, click download and set the frames to 60 and skin to width skin. Drag and drop the file where you downloaded it straight into Unity and select the animation. Once again, Set the rig to humanoid and press apply. Clicking on the animation tab, we'll rename the animation to running, tick the loop time, as well as ticking bake into pose from all directions and rotation. We'll also make sure each is based upon the original. After that, click apply. Now clicking on our player and having the animator window open, drag the running file into the entry state and press play. Right here is how you have your character rigged up from Kadem to Mixamo and then to Unity. That is all for this video. Big thanks to Kadem team for partnering with me and allowing me to explore Kadem. Be sure to give them support by following all their social media. You can go ahead and even ask their team for further questions on Kadem. The link to their stuff will be down in the description. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.